Hi all. Today in this video I'll be showing you how to install Corolla in Mac and Ubuntu. As you all know, Corolla is an application developed in the Python framework Django. So it is supported in all the operating systems which supports Python. So let's see how we can install Corolla in Ubuntu and Mac. So this will be a common video which supports the installation method for installing Corolla in Mac and Ubuntu as they support both the same method. So yeah. Let's see how we can install Corolla in Mac and Ubuntu. So for that, go to a browser and take the URL corolla.com slash docs slash installation. On going to the page, you'll find the documentation for installing Corolla in the different OS. So if you come down, you will see the section where we are given the doc for installing Corolla in Mac. You can follow the same method to install Corolla in Mac and Ubuntu as their method are same for both. So first of all, we'll have to make sure that Python is installed in our systems. By default, Ubuntu gets Python when you install it. So if you want to install Python in Mac, you can just use the link that I provided here. If you click on the link, you'll be redirected to the Python page where if you hover over the downloads button here, you'll get the option to download Python latest Python version here. So if you click on the Python, the package file for the Python will be downloaded. And if you open the package, you'll be redirected to a new way like this, where you'll be asked to enter different methods. So if you just click on the continue and agree with all the prompts, Python will be installed in your systems. As I've already installed the Python, I'll be closing this right now. So you'll have to follow the methods there. And after the Python is installed, the next method is to install Django. So for that, open up a terminal. If it's Mac, you can just Click on the command and spacebar, we will get the spotlight search method here and type in terminal. And if you are using Ubuntu, you can just press Ctrl, Alt and T, which opens up the terminal. So I'm opening the terminal here. So uh, now the terminal is opened here. So you can just uh, use the CD command to change the directory where you want to install the Hurla. So I'll be changing the directory here, documents, guide. So I'll be installing Hurla in my guide directory here. So before that, uh, as I told you, first we'll have to install Django. So for that, you can just use a command pip install Django here. So I'll be just copying it and enter. So as I'm, the Django is already installed in my system, so you can see that that's already installed. So if it's not installed, you'll get an installing menu over there. So once Django is installed correctly, next we'll have to clone our repository so for that, I'll uh, use the link git clone https colon double slash github.com slash open source iPhone horilla slash horilla dot jit. So you can see that an error is occurred here that is a permission tonight. So if you get an error like this, we just have to add the command sudo in print. So I'll just uh, type in sudo and paste the command here. And if I enter. So uh, in some cases in the Mac OS, you'll be getting an error like the repository is not found. So if you come across such error, you just have to add another command. I mean, you just have to edit the address like uh, git sudo git clone https colon double slash horilla hyphen open source at the rate github.com. Okay, that is uh, in some cases in Mac OS, you'll be getting an error like repository is not found. So you just have to add edit the address as https colon double slash horilla hyphen open source at the range github.com slash horilla hyphen open source slash horilla dot jit. In the case of Ubuntu, the, uh, this issue won't be there. So you just have to uh, copy the command from the installation doc and paste it. And that's it. So if I enter, now you can see that uh, the repository is cloned. Now if I just type in ls, I can see that a directory has been created here. I mean, the repo has been cloned into my local system. So once it's done, you can see that the next command is we'll have to change the directory, that is CD Horilla. So we'll just type in CD Horilla. So now we are in the Horilla directory. And if I click on LS here, you can see that we have got the uh, app files here right now. So the next step is to install the requirements file. So for that, use the command pip install minus r requirements.txt and enter. So once you do that, all the requirements files will for the App working will be installed in your system. So uh, as my system already have all the requirements files installed, this kind of a menu is appearing here. So yeah, now let's uh, set up the database for that. 
Let's use Python 3 manager to I make migration and enter. So once you are done that, all the uh, migration files will be created. After that, we'll have to migrate. So for that, use the command Python 3 manager to I migrate. So I'll just uh, clear off here and just type the command Python 3 manager to migrate and enter. And the, all the uh, migrations are getting set up. So once this is set up, next we'll have to uh, create an admin employee user. So for that, we'll have to use a command python3 manager.py create hurla user. So just uh, clear the command here and type in. Sorry, that was a uh, typo here. So you just type in python3 manager.py create hurla user. So enter the first name. So I'll just type in my name here. I kill. Ravi. I'll add the username as admin. Password as admin. Name email as nickel at orilla.com. Just type in a random phone number. Enter. Now you can see that an employee, Nickel Ravi, has been created successfully. So once the employee is created, next we'll have to run the server. So for that, just type in the command python3. Manage it py run server. So now you can see that uh, once everything is set up correctly, you'll have a development server started at HTTP, your localhost address, colon 8000. So let's copy the address and uh, come to our browser, visit this. You will get the login page. So you can see uh, we have added a created a user as admin, admin. So I'll just login. So this will be you'll be redirected to the dashboard panel where you'll get the data and all, etc. So this is how we set up Horilla in our Mac and Ubuntu systems. I hope you understood the video. Thank you.